What's up everyone, my name is Garrett and welcome back to Code the Web's PHP series. In the last video, we didn't really talk about any code or anything like that. I was just trying to explain what PHP was, how it works, and why we need to learn it. In this video, however, I would like to get into some really basic syntax. Now, syntax is the code that is incorporated within a language. So I'd like to go over some basic stuff so you guys can finally start doing some cool stuff with what you're learning. So if you guys remember, in the last video, I had this echo line of code and I just kind of used it to illustrate a point that I was trying to make, but I didn't actually explain to you guys what it was or what it did. But if you'll notice, it printed hello world, which is what came after it to the browser, to the window. And that's exactly what echo does. It prints whatever it comes after it to the window or to the browser. So if I change this to my name, for example, it will display my name. And if I change this to code the web, it'll work just like just like the other thing, just like my name did or just like hello world did. And what echo does is once again, it just prints whatever comes after it to the window. We can also use the actual keyword print and it would do the same thing just as well. But for our purposes, I like the word echo. I think it sounds cooler than just print. Um, so now you'll probably notice that whatever uh, this is, um, is in quotes right here. Uh, and that's going to lead us to the next thing I want to talk about, which is strings. Now, what is a string? A string is basically uh, text. Um, and that's why this is in quotes, because no matter what the text is, no matter what you're trying to do, if you're just writing plain text, it needs to be in quotes if you're trying to use it uh, somewhere else down the line or just use it in general. If not, you'll get an error like this. Um, and now we have nothing. Now, it is important to note that in PHP, if you do have an error, it kills the entire page in which case nothing will work just like that. But if you do it properly, uh, everything will work, obviously. So now let's talk about numbers or math. Um, now the difference between the two, obviously, I think, I guess they'd kind of be like the opposite, right? So with numbers, you actually don't need, um, you don't need uh, uh, quotes because it's not a string. And we can type in whatever number we want, as long as we want, we still don't need quotes. So now I would like to talk about uh, something really, really awesome, which are variables. So what is a variable? A variable is something, and this is across all languages, um, the same concept. A variable is something that you, um, you can give a variable a name or something like that, and a variable holds a value that is equal to whatever you need to make it equal to. It could be predefined text, a predefined number. It could be dependent on what the user actually gives it, and we'll get into all that cool stuff later, but it could be dependent on, on what um, the user uh, inputs, and we actually did do that if you guys watched the um, how to build a portfolio website. When we actually, at the end, we made the form, the contact form, we did just that. We took what the user was going to input and then we took that information and did something with it so that's the power of a variable it can do a lot very 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 important um, so to make it a variable you do uh, the money sign which is shift 4 and then whatever the name of the variable you want uh, now it is important to know that if you have two words in your variable you don't space like that instead what you do is you have the first name and then or the first word and then to signify that it's a uh, another word um, let's say the word is get uh, you would use a capital first letter of that new word and then continue on and you would do that every time you need a new um, a new word so add or anything like that so we're just gonna go with name and our name is gonna equal code the web and remember since this is a string we're gonna have to put this in quotes so now we have code the web, that's what that equals. And now let's incorporate this echo uh, keyword that we used like two seconds ago, and we're gonna echo name. So now we're echoing code the web. And it's really cool because we didn't actually echo, we didn't actually tell PHP to print specifically code the web, we just told it to print whatever name equals. So now let's talk about uh, two more really quick things for this video, and those are uh, some grammar and comments. So first off, let's just talk about the grammar here. Um, not all of the grammar, but just really quickly. Uh, you'll probably have noticed that we have these semicolons, and we need the semicolons to tell PHP or tell the, the server when it gets compiled that 
that's the end of our statement. That's the end of the line of code. If we don't have those semicolons, we're going to get an error. But if we have those semicolons, the server knows that that's the end of that statement. That's the end of that line of code. Now we have to move on to the next one and it's going to be something totally different. But it can still, this second line of code can still be dependent on the first line of code, but it's still its own statement. That's all that's saying. So now let's talk about comments. So what is a comment and why might you want to use a comment? Um, so a comment is something that it's basically, it's so you can make notes in your code and it's something that the browser or and if it's a different language or for PHP, the server will not pay attention to because it realizes that that bit, that block of text is not, not code. It is for the developer or for someone else looking at another developer's code to read and understand kind of what's going on. So we have two ways to make a comment. One, we can make a comment that's just one line. And to do that, we would use um, two forward slashes, so just slash slash. And then we'd be able to say uh, this code um, is for video two of the code, the web PHP series. Okay, so we can do that. And another way we can do it is if we let's say it's too long for one line. Uh, we don't want to keep on making our window bigger. That's just not what we want to do. That's not really a, uh, it's it kind of makes us go out of our way. So what we can do is we can do slash asterisk. And then let's say it's there, we can do slash asterisk again. And now all of this inside here is going to be uh, a comment, right? So, whoops. So if we go and refresh this page, nothing's going to be different. You won't see any of this stuff right here because it's all comments. So the browser or the server, I should say, um, knows skip that bit. It's not relevant for our purposes. So thanks for watching, guys. That's the end of this video. If you did learn something, which I definitely hope you did, definitely subscribe because we've got a great, awesome, some uh, a lot more PHP videos coming out along the way. Um, also, if you're not already, definitely follow Code the Web on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, links to both of those social media sites uh, will be in the description. So take care, subscribe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.